Corey, a touchdown. You caught it, right? Yes, and then the extra effort to get in. I mean, it just there's a little bit of everything. Yes, sir. Um, feel me? I feel like it was a great play, but I, I'm I'm ready to do bigger and better things for the team. You know what I'm saying? My teammates expect me to make that kind of those kind of plays when my name's called. So I feel like it's been out of the ordinary. I worked really hard this off season um, to be able to um, for people to be able to see great improvements in my game. You know what I'm saying? So I just am blessed to be in this position. Blessed to be on such a great team. You know what I'm saying? I got. Heisman candidate quarterback, you feel me? So I got no complaints, man. I'm living good. I just want to, as the season goes on, just I want to be more and more involved in helping the team win. So. It seems like you have a knack for making the competitive catch. Is that something you pride yourself on? Yeah, definitely, bro. That's why I feel like it was just bothering me so bad last year and everyone was saying this and that about me. I'm like, man, y'all just don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Like, one thing about me is I'm, yeah, that's how I got to this point is by making the catches I'm not supposed to make. That's how I got here. So, you know what I'm saying? Glad that I can um, put that on tape. You know, for people to see, for the coaches to see, you know, for my teammates to see, so they know that I got their back, man. They need me. Fourth down, fourth down. Yeah. We're trying to score. We're trying to win the middle eight. Middle eight is the last four minutes of the first half and the first four to the second half. We're trying to win that fourth and seven. Go in there and make a play for the team, bro. Go in there and um, move the sticks and then get in the end zone. We get inside the ten yard line. We ain't going down. We get inside that ten yard line. We gotta get in the end zone, bro. Too many people at the crib that need me to, to put on. You feel me? So yeah. when I get inside that ten yard line, bro. Got to score, man, for all the people that just deal with me for through this ride and just gonna continue to see me get better and better and continue to see us get better and better as a womb, as a team, as a, as a contender, as whatever you want to call it, man. So I'm just grateful. Man, that's big, huge. Because I was waiting for him all last year. I was waiting for him to pop out all last year. People don't know he really liked that. Like, really liked that. So really proud of him. You know what I'm saying? He overcame a lot in his, in his own head as well, you know. So really proud of him. That's my brother, man. That's my twin. I, I remember, I could people could vouch. I put on my Twitter. This was like going on two years ago. I said we're gonna be the best in the country one day, bro. Me and him, bro, gonna be the best in the country. Two of the best receivers in the country one day. And I'm still standing by that. You know what I'm saying? But we not nowhere near close. We got a long way to go, man. But I feel like we come. It's uh, talking about Nick. I feel like me and him come in the facility every day with a mindset to get better, and we don't care. Who sees it, or we ain't trying to do too much to show everybody that we going hard or not, but we just gonna go hard behind closed doors, and it's gonna show on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? When we get our opportunities, and he didn't earn all the opportunities that he's getting, man. I'm trying to tell you, like I, I, I can speak for him. I can, he, I can say that he's definitely like the example. Like, and I, I feel like every receiver in the room say he's the example. He's doing things right. You know what I'm saying? Just living the living life the right way. You know what I'm saying? God fearing a man for sure, and. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 that's my brother. I'm pretty sure he looks up, looks at me in a certain way for certain things, and I look up to him in, in a certain way for certain things as well, man. And I think we make both, um, each other better. So I'm so glad that I um, got the opportunity to come here and play with him. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother for life. How confident is Dylan throwing the football right now? Uh, I, I, Dylan should be extremely confident in throwing the football because he already is going to drop dots on every receiver. And then even if he wasn't, we don't got to worry about it because all the receivers, we're going to get it. So. I just feel like we just had a, um, a great place of chemistry right now, you know what I'm saying? And credit to him, man. Credit to DG because he started in the summer, bro, like getting us all together and just getting us right and getting that connection right. Like me being a guy who don't even start, like, but I could just go in the game. I just know how he thinking. Like, I just know how he think. Like, he puts up with his hands. Like, I know what he want me to do. And for us to have that connection, even though me being a second team guy, I feel like that's um, a pretty big thing, a pretty big deal. And I feel like he has that connection with, all the receivers, you know what I'm saying? The ones who start, the ones who on the bench will come in. I feel like he's a um, really great guy getting everybody, having them feel like they're important, you know what I'm saying? Making them feel like they're involved. And that's um, a characteristic of a great team and a great quarterback, a leader of the team. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the leader of the team. I go as he go. I follow him, man. We, we, every day I come up to him, I say, hey, man, throw me that ball, man. Throw me that ball. He's like, I got you, bro. I trust you. As long as I got that, as long as I got his trust, man, I ain't worried about nothing else. I know that only good things are going to come to me and come to the team. Can you about quantify <laughs> how much better you feel about the depth of this receiving now versus then? I just feel like we got more guys that are stepping up. I feel like we had a lot of talent last year, but it just a lot of guys weren't stepping up that way that we thought they would. And this year, everyone's really answered the bell, man. All the talent we got is actually showing. And game, football is game performance, man. It don't matter what you could do or what people think you can do. It's about what you do. That's why last year when all that stuff was going on and people weren't playing as good, like, you can't say nothing, bro. You got to take it because – Football is a game of performance, man. BB says that every day football is a game of what you put on tape, man. I don't care nothing about what you did in high school. I don't care how how you rank. Anybody can get it. Like 
And I feel like that's the mentality. I feel like everybody knows that's the mentality I have. Anybody can get it. And I feel like that's the mentality that the whole team has and has adapted. And I feel like, as like I said, a credit to BV, credit to um, PG, you know what I'm saying? A credit to a lot of defensive leaders, uh, Billy Bowman, Key Lawrence, a lot of guys who just bring that energy to practice and bring it to the game. And, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I don't want to hate or say nothing bad about last year's D128. It was my first year. I loved them. But I feel like this year, we just not going for nothing. Like, we just not on none of that soft stuff. Like, nothing. Like, we, we going hard. Like, someone punches in the mouth, we're going to punch him back. I remember, I'm not going to say any specific games. I just remember some games, we got punched in the mouth, and I feel like we never recovered last year. And this year, I feel like we could recover from anything. Man. We get formed, we locked in like real brothers. Whole team loves each other, and the whole team is willing to go out there and die on the field, really. Like, we'll go out there and put it all, put it all out there on the field to get our name back. I don't know about I don't know about everybody, but I know for a fact I can't speak for everybody in this specific instance. But I know how I feel, man. They they tried to take our pride from us last year. They tried to call they called us out our name. They said that we were sorry. We not owe you this, that, and the third. And I'm not really here for none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so as long as we keep going hard the way we are, I feel like we gonna everything that God has in store for us is gonna come to us, man. Because we got a great team. Where I feel like we got a great team, a great coaching staff. We got a great leaders on the team. You feel me? And I don't even feel like I'm necessarily one of the leaders. I feel like I kind of just a guy who just is following, doing, playing my role and following the leadership of others. You feel me? I feel like that's the, uh, where I'm at in my life right now. I feel like that's what's important for me to do is just learn how to follow others better, learn how to be led, and stop always trying to be a loud leader. You know what I'm saying? So as the season goes on, man, I just can't wait to see what else we got in store. With that talk- said, how much does the shutout last year, how much do you think about that? How much does that get talked about in the locker room? I mean, we don't really talk about it because – we, we know what we're going to do, man. I'm not going to sit here and talk about it next week. I don't want to talk about it next week. I'm not. Everybody knows what time it is. Everybody in our locker room knows what time it is. I know what time it is. I've been trying to keep next week out of my mind for the last two weeks. Focus on where your feet are. Be in the present. You know what I'm saying? So last year, it hurt real bad, and everyone remembers it, and that's all that really needs to be said about that. We're going, we need to have a great week of practice. Um, a dedicated week of practice. We need to um, make sure that we execute on the highest levels and go out there. We got to play a good opponent. We got a good opponent next week. I mean, a worthy opponent for sure. So um, they're a good team and a good coach. And I just feel like we're going to get it done. We got to go out there and get it done. Where's your Obviously. game grown that allows you to be more of a factor this year? My game, I feel like my game has grown plenty of ways, man. Physicality, hands, um, yeah. smart to the game, yeah. confidence. I feel like I had to – there was a lot of mountains I had to overcome to be able to get to this point, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is really just the valley. I ain't even reached the peak yet. So I still got to get better. I couldn't even tell you specifically what things I got better at. All I know is that I got more confident. I worked on my hands like crazy. I worked on my release, my breaks like crazy. I worked on my releases like crazy. And it's all behind closed doors. I didn't try to go out of my way to show anybody none. And I feel like the work is going to pay off in itself, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm grateful to all the people who – so it just kept constantly, constantly pouring into me, you know what I'm saying? And through that and the hard work that I was putting in combined, it allowed me to come out here and be a better version of myself for the team, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not even nowhere close to where I need to be at, man. I'm not even nowhere close. You make a lot of competitive plays. I do, but I'm not even nowhere close to where I need to be at. BV will tell you, Levy will tell you, my team will tell you. I'm not nowhere close to where I need to be at yet. So I'm working every day. I'm staying humble and I'm trying to be a better man, you know what I'm saying, off the field. And that's what's tra- that's why it's translated on the field. I'm trying to be a better man off the field. And that's one thing that BB has taught me. So if you want me to be honest, that's what I got better at. I got better as a person, man. And everything else just follows suit after that. But I learned that the hard way through Coach B and Coach Levy. They taught me that, man. Made me more of a man. Learn to be a better man. Every- you, live- you-, you bless the game, the game going to bless you. I already said that before. And you bless the game, it's going to bless you. It's just a fact. Uh, Dylan had uh, one question. Um, uh, Dylan had a little extra edge to him today, and, and you guys could see that in, in the in the huddle as well. Kind of what was the message from him, and 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 what was that about tonight? Just having that little little extra juice tonight. This is our party, man. DG kept saying this is our party, it's our house, man. And like I said, I follow him, bro. He's a great leader, and I go as he go, bro. He's the team, the heartbeat, in my opinion, especially at least for the offense. He's the heartbeat of the offense, man. He keeps us going. Like he know what to say. He know what to. Especially for me, man, I can tell you, it'd be some days you walk in here and it's just like, man, bro, week four, like, week five, like, mm-hmm. man, I'm tired. Like, man, I just got out of class, I just took a test. And he just always knows what to say, man. So in the game, when he's sitting there telling you, hey, we finna run the score up, man, we finna, we finna show them, we finna show everybody. Like, you have no, like, you, it's infectious. Like, you have no choice but to just be brought up by that, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's just a great leadership quality that he has. Not everybody has that, you know. I feel like some people are just born with that and some aren't. And he's blessed with that ability, you know what I'm saying? And I'm grateful to be on the team with him. So. 
And he's out there on the field covering us all up. He's saying, hey, this is our show, man. We can go as far as you want. We're right there with him. That's awesome. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. So, hey, appreciate, appreciate you.